This is the refrigerator. I've taken off the two feet and these bolts that hold this piece, which is the hinge pin for the lower door. And now I can remove the door. I want to switch the side of the hinges, oops, so that the doors will open in a way that's convenient to access the fridge from the kitchen. Right now you have to be in the forward bunk to really open the refrigerator door. So here is a middle hinge set. It has pivot points for the upper half of the lower door and the lower half of the upper door. And I can take the hardware up from there and then I can remove the freezer door. And these little plugs have to be removed because they cover holes where that lower hinge piece is going to be moved to. The upper hinge pieces are hidden underneath a plastic cover that is the lid or top of the refrigerator. And they're basically just like the ones at the very bottom. Two bolts hold in this steel piece. There's one on each side and one of them is flat and one has the hinge pin on it. In this case the one I just took off the bottom and I'll now put it on the top and start the reassembly of my refrigerator with the top hinge pin in place I can put the freezer door on and then the middle hinge pieces and once I get the freezer door lined those hinge pieces will be in the correct position and I replaced the refrigerator lower door and this is the piece I took off the bottom with the hinge pin on it and I align the door where I want it and then I can tighten down the bolts and secure this and I replace the feet and wrestle the refrigerator back into its position now the doors open in a way that's easy to access. There's a bunch of these hatches that cover up areas that are filled with either buoyancy foam or storage areas. And I'm making flatter, nicer looking covers out of starboard, which is a high density plastic material for home improvement and boat fixing. This is fiberglass peanut butter. It's polyester resin, some chopped fibers, and a thickening agent like Cavasil. And it can be made in a clay or putty-like consistency. And here I'm fixing the holes where the old motor mount went. I cover it with wax paper to keep the air away from it. Polyester resin normally hardens if it's exposed to air to a tacky state so you can put another layer on it. But if you want it to harden as your final layer you either have to mix a special wax with the resin or cover it with wax paper like I did here. It's hard where the wax paper was and a little bit tacky elsewhere but this is okay for now. I'm cutting through the forward bulkhead because I need to get access to the front of the boat to work with the running lights and do some different things at the front. I'm removing some flotation foam and hopefully we'll replace it with an equal or greater volume of foam elsewhere. I've cut these plywood pieces for now to be to cover the hole basically and I'm drilling these holes and the 
plywood goes on the other side of the bulkhead so that the anchor road is pushing it against the bulkhead instead of having it fall into the cabin while I'm sleeping.